my room for Christmas. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell in today's video, I'm going to be decorating my room for Christmas. I am so, so, so excited. I've been waiting for this time for so long. So today is November 13th and we're going to start this Christmas video by decorating my room. I have collected some stuff over the years to decorate my room and I'm going to show you guys what I have recently I've gotten to decorate my room and as well as we're going to use some stuff that we already have so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video and now let's get started Alrighty, so we're going to do a little haul first of what I have gotten together this year for my room now let me tell you I love and hate decorating my room for Christmas because then by the time it's like January I have to take it all down so I'm trying not to get so much stuff in my room because then it's going to be such a struggle to get it in and out so let's start. So the first thing you have seen is this really cute gingerbread man like plushie kind of thing. I love my plushies. I have a massive addiction to my plushies. I have like a whole tub right here full of plushies and there's more but I had to get rid of some but they're still here but I just had to get rid of a few. So yeah we've got this one. I got this from the reject shop for about eight dollars. Next thing I got is for my bed. I got this from TK Maxx and it is this beautiful throw rug. It's giving me Aussie Christmas vibes as you can tell. So it's this beautiful white and it's got like presents and then like palm trees decorated with lights. So I wanted something a bit more better than this but I feel like this one will suit my new Duna cover thingy I got which I'll show you guys now. For a Duna cover I just got this plain white one from Kmart. It is a queen size quilt Duna cover and let me show you guys the print up close. This is the print and it is so pretty and I think I got this for 40 something dollars ish. I don't know how much because I got this quite a while ago but yeah. I freaking love this and it's definitely gonna go with it and I think I paid 25 bucks for this I'm pretty sure so you may have seen this in one of my vlogs that I did but uh, I got this from Kate Alexander it is their official ornament I'll pull it out I don't have like a tree or anything but I probably do want to put this on my current Christmas tree look how cute it is like it's got a bunch of animals on it and it's decorated on this side I wish it was decorated on both sides but who knows they might do it next year but decorated on both sides but it's really cool next thing I got from also TK Maxx is this beautiful like plant I don't know why it's not focusing but this is what it looks like I think I'm gonna put this on my bedside table to kind of make it look really pretty and it's like frosted which I absolutely love like I just I keep saying to myself when I get my own place my Christmas tree like my very first ever actual Christmas tree is going to have this frosted look because I love that look of it being frosted it just puts it together you know what I mean then for my bathroom I got this candy cane soap also from TK Maxx I don't know why it's not focusing this is what it looks like the print is so pretty and I loved this one like I smelled so many different ones but this one it's the spot and it actually smells like candy canes like candy canes are like my favorite but i don't eat them as often but look at it if you want to get a really nice christmas soap tk max has got you and then i'll show you guys the other thing that i'm just using right now so the next thing i've got from a typo is a grinch 24 day countdown thingy i actually it's actually 25 days not 24 but it's 25 days and when i saw this i was like i have to have it because it is so cute i don't know if i'm gonna get an advent calendar this year like i tried making my own last year but that wasn't successful but then at the end i luckily had 24 items so i don't know if i'm gonna do an advent calendar this year but like buy one i found probably one that i'm actually probably gonna get from the body shop they have this really cute one they've got a few different Different styles but yeah so these are like all the different prints I'm not gonna show you all of them but these are what they look like they are so freaking cute but I definitely recommend this countdown one because it's just so pretty I've had previous countdown ones but this one takes it so I also got this with this that I got from Typo. This is from Typo as well. And I just really needed this and I just used it. It is a gingerbread man like pen holder thing. If I'm currently using it. And it's got like all my pens. It's got my lighter. And there's a few other stuff. But yeah, it's a really good size for what I have. It's really cute. So now let's start decorating my room. 
So before we start decorating, I thought I'd show you guys like a before what my room looks like. Non-Christmas vibes. So let's do that. Alright, so this is my current state of my room. It is a very, very messy as you can see. Like I have heaps of stuff. So this is kind of like a room tour as well. So let's kind of do that. So here's my desk. It's the messiest area. I always trash the most in my room. It's my mirror. This is my TV area. This is a beautiful decorative area that never gets messed up. Here's a little Grinch. Just waving there. This is my bed where I sleep. This is the beautiful view from my bed that I wake up to every morning. This is my bedside table. I've got my Frank Green and then I've got a few other stuff too. Here's my collection of Peter Alexander pajamas that I display. I currently have some summer pajamas going on at the moment. And here's my disgusting floor. And then here's my wardrobe. And here's a mirror that I have. I love using this mirror. I got it from Kmart. That, and I think I'm growing. But anyways. And then here is my calendar. And then my beauty vanity thingy. And then laundry. And then a random tripod I use for TikToks. So now we're going to clean up and start decorating. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Well, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a simple phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas
was such hard work. So mum, if you are watching this, it took me forever just to get the Duna cover onto it and it's annoying. And I tried my best, so give me a thumbs up credit for that. So time check. It is currently 7.41. My camera died and then my mum made me dinner so I ate that. And then afterwards I kind of chilled and then bounced some stuff in the garage. That was like past Christmas stuff. So I kind of borrowed a few things and I'm going to show you guys what I found. So first thing I found was this really small kind of little Christmas tree thing. But it is really cute. It's just really simple. I was kind of looking for like a small Christmas tree to put in my room but I am still on the hunt to find one to have this area you know where like my little ring light is thingy when I make my TikToks. I want to kind of have like kind of an average size tree right there to kind of make it look Christmassy but then this little one fits the vibe. I don't know where I'm going to put it but I'll find it at home. And then I kind of like this. It's like a little Merry Christmas thingy. Again, I don't know where I'm going to put it, so I just have to find it at home. And then to kind of put on my bed, we got this little life-size gingerbread. And then little plushie. Might have to give it a bit of a disinfect, but it should be fine to put on my bed. And then this is my parents. It has Have a Merry Christmas on it. And it's got like these cherries and stuff on the pool. It's really pretty. And I think I kind of want to put this on my bedside table or like near my TV. Just kind of give it a bit of a vibe because it's kind of like bare at the moment. And then last thing, I bought this last year. If you remember my Kmart shopping vlog, I bought this. And I didn't actually really hang this, but this year I want to use it. So here's my chance to use it this year. I have two prints that I think I'm going to put this where it is. So yeah. And then I want to find some like Christmas prints that are in my room. So let's finish off decorating my room. So it's been a few days since I decorated my room for Christmas so I thought I would give you guys a full tour of what it looks like in the daytime so let's do that so when you walk in I decided to put this gingerbread sign thingy on my door because it looks really cute and very Christmas vibes and then when you walk in this is what my room looks like now it's really clean i'm surprised i've kept it this clean for a few days so here is my beautiful desk so here i've got my laptop i was doing some final editing on a video and then i've got you know my little beauty rack here jewelry makeup in here little stationery candle my salt lamp and my disgusting mirror right here and it's got this on it and then here is my mirror that i look at myself at every day because i'm really pretty <laughs> here i've got my dresser it is very full especially those last two in this drawer as well 
So I've got my TV right here, as you can see. And then here I've got this book I kind of stole from my parents because my parents did buy this, but I kind of borrowed it. Nope stole it and then here i've got a little gnome i had i'm pretty sure like a few years ago a little longer i've kept it and then i've got this mini christmas tree and then here i've got my sunset lamp and my polaroid camera and then here is another part of my dresser that i've had for a while and i've put it here instead of i used to have it in my wardrobe but I decided to put it out here to kind of, I don't know, there was a little space here so I was like let me put it here and create more space in my wardrobe. So in here I've got my mini Grinch, my perfume thingy, this little plant and then this other plant right here. And then here is my bed of course. I have got these, these like plushies and pillows so I've got my Grinch from last year, my biggest size gingerbread man, I've got a little mini gingerbread man and then this um, snowman that sings. And then this is the view from my room. And then I still have these up but I will change it to a Christmas print once I find some cute ones. And then this is my bedside table. So I have this little plate thingy where I put like all my jewellery if I forget to take it off and some Bath and Body Works head sanitizer. I've got my remote for my TV. I've got this 25 day countdown Christmas. Some crystals and some oil kind of thingies from one of my good friends that has a small business that does these. And then some cute little figurines and a diffuser. And then in here it's disgusting in there. I'm not going to show you guys that. And then here I have all of my Peter Alexander pajamas. So comment down below if you want a Peter Alexander collection video because I'm really desperate wanting to do this video once I have all of it. That still needs to be hung. I want to hang it right here but for now it's down here. Then I have a full length mirror to kind of look at myself kind of thing and like play an outfit. Sometimes I just dance inside my mirror. And then here I have my calendar for this year that I always get from Typo. I always love their calendars from Typo. It is bomb. And then lastly I have my little, I don't know what to call it, a beauty trolley thingy. So I have here like all of my fragrances. Most of them are Victoria's Secret. This one's from Bath and Body Works. This one's from Dior. And I've got some of my makeup palettes, some of my brushes. And a few other stuff that I just don't often use that is not in my makeup case. Yeah, I just have a few extra beauty stuff like some wipes, face masks, bath bombs, and a little extras. And then here I have two baskets. One's got all my tech and one has got just some fun things in here. And yeah, that is my full depth room tour of like what I have because I've also been meaning to do a room tour. That's that. Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed my first room decor slash room maker video for Christmas. I cannot wait to make some more Christmas content coming up soon. I'll try and make some as much content as I can for Christmas even though I will be working so much and I probably won't produce as much Christmas content but I will try my best to produce as much as I can such as some Christmas shopping, maybe some last minute Christmas wrapping that I have to do and maybe some Christmas baking with my mom because she loves her baking so we might do that together. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. Comment down below the Christmas tree emoji if you stayed all the way to the end of this video. And go comment down below one thing you do want for Christmas this year. And yeah. Bye guys. Peace out.